Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest. And we are here with Aiden and Raven who are currently chilling out near an elk herd. Uh, the elk herd's really not chilling out. They saw us and uh, took off even though um, even though uh, Aiden is definitely way too weak to hunt right now. Let's go ahead. We will we will wag our tail. Oh, she's got, looking pretty confident as well. I think Raven wants to hunt, perhaps. But uh, before we begin, we are going to actually roll to see if we can turn off Mate Permadeath. And uh, this is the second time we've rolled, so we get kind of uh, we get we have to roll a 19 or a 20 instead of just 20 now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we got an 11, so nope, <laughs> not today. They still have to keep that on for the time being. But we're going to let Aiden just chill out here. I'm sure Raven will uh, enjoy that as well. She does like to like to rest. She's a little bit lazy, but she doesn't let that stop her during the hunt. But we do need to let these guys rest because Aiden is pretty hurt. And um, we need to give him the chance to heal up. Oh, they're a little bit snowy. Oh, that's so cute. It snowed while they were sleeping. I love the I love the dynamic weather system. It's it's really honestly amazing in this game. Um, it, it's a very pretty one. It, it looks amazing. It looks it looks great. And honestly, I mean, just the way this game looks is beautiful. It, it truly is. It, it looks incredible. <laughs> Look at the snow on the trees, you guys. Those snowy white forests. Isn't that just the prettiest thing? This game is amazing. <laughs> I can't I can't wait to see the rest of it too. Hey, what's going on up there? There's there's something up here. We're gonna go see. I think that's is that a bear? I think it's a bear, and I think it might actually be a couple of bears. So this is something a lot of you guys were talking about. Um, they actually just said in the patch notes that uh, these guys apparently had gotten removed and they put them back in. So these guys are in the game now. I think it's uh, it looks like a mother bear and a cub. So we don't we don't want to get Mama angry at us, but I do want to just see these guys. I feel they would be a little bit curious. Mama is not. Oh, Mama's gonna run off. Baby's gonna run off as well. And uh, I can see Aiden giving chase just a little bit, kind of just to um, just to just to give him a bit of a bit of a warning here, and uh, to make sure they stay off of his, his turf. He's not gonna attack him. I mean, that would be that would be foolhardy. Oh, watch out, Raven! Raven, what are you doing? Raven, no, don't attack the bear. We just want to scare them. We don't want to. We don't want to fight them. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was a little bit intense. There actually is a mule deer over here. We're gonna fight anything. That might be um, that might be the better option. But uh, Aiden is still pretty pretty weak. Although I think this is actually a doe. It looks like a doe to me. Yeah, it's a doe. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try to do a little hunting. I think it wouldn't hurt them to have a little food on their uh, on their paws right now. So let's go ahead and attack. We'll grab her by the leg, and hopefully Raven will join in. We're gonna let Raven do a lot of the hunting this time around, because Aiden is still fairly, uh... Oh my goodness, she got thrown! Are you okay? I think she's alright. She's running after it again. But we're gonna let Raven do a lot of the hunting, because Aiden still needs to heal up quite a lot, and so it'll be a little bit better for him if Raven does much of the hunting this time. They kinda... It's nice that... Whoops! It's nice that they kinda trade off. Uh, sometimes to be able to do that. Let's try and get a good side bite. There we go. That's not doing as much damage to us. We're not doing a huge amount to her either, but it definitely is going to slow her down. And the, the does are not that powerful, so I'm not overly scared of this hunt. You going to jump in again, Raven? We might have to let go soon. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna let go there. We'll, we'll try and jump in too and do a little bit of work, but I don't want to... Um, I don't want to be the only one doing much of the hunting here because that would not be so great for, for Aiden and his lowered health. That's a better bite. That's giving a, a good ratio of damage dealt to damage received there. Uh, now it's going up a bit though. She's almost down. We should be able to bring her down pretty easily here, I think. Especially with the two of us working together. There we go. And now we'll get a nice uh, nice little little bite to eat here since we were still a bit hungry. But let's make sure we rest up because that kind of just undid everything. Um, everything we did to heal Aiden up. So we'll let him sleep. It looks like Raven is going to sleep as well. And hopefully those bears keep their distance. Because <laughs> holy smokes. Uh, I wouldn't want to have to deal with a mama with cubs. I don't think we could do that right now. I think we're just a little bit out of our... Um, out of our comfort zone if that happened. Uh, maybe we chase, we chase, might chase them, um, 
when they're not uh, <laughs> when they're when they're not attacking us. But if they actually came after us, that would not be a good situation. So we'll just get a bite to eat and then settle down again. It looks like the snow is starting to melt. It's been a little while since it has snowed, and uh, so it, oh now it's actually raining. It must be a little bit of a warmer day uh, for it to actually be able to rain. That's kind of unexpected. But we'll let them sleep. Oh, no, it did turn to snow. Oh, and look at the fog in the morning. It's it's so snowy and foggy out. See, I love how there is a little bit of atmospheric fog. It just it adds kind of that nice extra touch to things. Is that a fox? How about no? How about you get out of here? Oh, Raven's going to go for it. Oh, my goodness. Yep. She, uh, she, she helped chase it off. Oh, get out of here. Don't make me actually come after you, because I will. I will. I'll bite you. <laughs> uh, but we'll kind of continue to guard our um, continue to guard our carcass here. Looks like Raven has also settled down a short ways away, and in just a minute here, it should be a little bit lighter out. We'll, pro we'll probably sleep until the next day, probably assuming nothing happens. Just kind of keep snacking, and then by then we'll be a little bit more ready to go. So it is snowing again. It's going to probably snow a lot because I think it pretty much is the heart of winter now. Who is this? Is this a fox again? Get out of here. We're going to charge you. and you, you better run. You better run. We'll make sure we get a little bit of a bite to eat. A little bit of a lazy morning here. But I'm sure things aren't going to stay that way for long. They, they seldom have ever do, it seems. Um, yeah, something always happens. I'm just surprised we haven't really been properly attacked by now. Of course, that probably jinxed it. So, and look, there's even a little bit of snow in the mule deer carcass. Isn't that so cool? Just the, the amount of detail in this game is really phenomenal, you guys. It truly is. I'm not, uh, I, I'm very, very impressed by that. I'm not, not sure why it seems like it's continuing to, to do the little wolf icon, though. That, that might not be supposed to happen. <laughs> um, I, hopefully that resolves itself. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, hopefully it's not an issue. If it is, I'll, I'll report it in a bit. <laughs> uh, but we'll let them continue to rest. Aiden is almost, um... Aiden is almost rested up here, almost completely healed, and just in time, too. Oh, it's actually going to be a dream as well. Oh, he's dreaming about hunting and birds fighting eagles by the looks of it. And the highway. Oh, man, that's kind of a scary dream. And eagles taking away a wolf. Oh, my goodness. Man, you're having some adventures in your sleep there, bud. All right. It looks like Raven is up and eating, and we actually went undisturbed. Oh, no, we didn't. Who's this? Who is this? Who are these two? Who are you? Who are you? Oh, it's you guys, you punks. Hello. This is the rematch we've been looking for. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try and work with Raven, I think, as much as is possible. Oh, watch out. Yep, work with Raven when we can. We'll try to target 18 more than anybody, I think. The other one's gonna run in soon too, but if we can take one of them out right away, then that's gonna help quite a lot, I think. Because if we can, that's one of the things that's been hard about this is that um, if we don't uh, if we don't coordinate our attacks, then it can be more difficult. Oh, <laughs> this one's still still roaming around, uh, not actually attacking too much. It seems like. All right, are you on the run yet? No, you're not. But yeah, I think this is the this is the rematch. Oh no, Raven, be careful! You're getting chased. This is the rematch Aiden has been looking for, that's for sure, because these two ran him off a carcass and he is not about to, uh, not about to let them go with, for that this time. He is gonna take them out. Oh man, this one's in trouble too. So that's, I think, one of the things we were having trouble with was kind of coordinating our attacks. Oh, we got bit there, but we're gonna just jump right back in, um, and continue to damage her. Okay, I think she's pretty hurt. We'll go after the other one a little bit. If, unless the unless she decides to oh she's coming back you you are not a smart wolf oh yeah especially not with both of us you might die she might actually die you better run wolf oh she's still trying to chase Raven oh my goodness now I guess the question is do we kill her if she doesn't if she if she does, oh hey we're getting attacked again Raven help Raven might kill her oh my goodness Raven Raven are you oh Raven took her out oh my gosh that's that's pretty hardcore. Aiden hesitated to go for the kill, I think, but oh my goodness, look at this. He's gonna he's gonna chase this one down if possible, I think, and uh, just give her a good warning. Make sure she absolutely knows not to uh, not to mess with us, not to mess with us here. He's gonna make sure she she gets a thorough lesson here. He's kind of out of stamina. She's gonna keep running. 
We're probably going to end up pushing her right into Stranger Wolf territory if we're not careful. But he is going to make sure that she has well learned her lesson. I don't know that he necessarily wanted to kill the other wolf. Uh, but she did keep attacking. And I think at this point we could call it self-defense. <laughs> I don't know. She did come after Raven. And Raven turned around and nailed her. So... Yeah, not the smartest of moves on her part, but I think it's safe to say that, that that wolf probably won't bother us anymore if she knows what's good for her. Holy smokes, you guys. That got a little bit intense. But yeah, what I was going to say is I think the problem we were having before, because look how little damage these guys actually took. Uh, we weren't coordinating our attacks. We were targeting different wolves and just running around in a general frenzy. And uh, because of that, they kind of were able to target us more and do more damage. And I think now that we're working together, now that we targeted the same wolf, that helped quite a lot. Although, she didn't back down. I mean, that would have that would have been smart, but apparently she was a little too confident in the presence of her sister. Um, yeah. That got a little more intense than I thought it was going to. I didn't really want to kill her. I don't think Aiden usually is the sort to go for the kill, but in a situation like that where she's not given up, that's kind of, I mean, we gave her a good chance to run away and she just didn't. Um, but yeah, that icon's still up there, so I'm gonna just pause briefly and report that and see if I can get it to go away real fast. So I'll be right back. All right, so I had to actually reload the game. It's just a little bit of a little bit of a funky thing going on. Not really supposed to do that, but I don't think it does any harm at least. So, oh, nice, nice play bow, nice tail wags. These two are, are definitely getting along quite well. I think we made a good choice at a mate. Even if Raven can be a little bit aggressive, she's certainly not uh, not slow to come to Aiden's defense. And likewise, he's quick to defend her when need be as well. So I think these two make a great team. Now, we probably should do some hunting because we finished off our carcass. Aiden's pretty full on health. And there actually is a carcass up here. Uh, there's also a moose. You know, I think these guys would be feeling a little bit confident and might track the moose at least. We're going the wrong way though. And just, oh, it's, it's right up here. Oh, it's a bull moose. Okay, even Aiden knows better than to mess with that. Raven, you did follow me, right? Yep. I <laughs> uh, just wanted to make sure she didn't decide to go pick a fight with it. Uh, I do worry about her because sometimes she, she runs off. She goes to, to fight stuff. Oh, and it's raining again. I wonder if it's going to go back to snow soon. Uh, but yeah, sometimes she does go pick fights, and it can be a little bit nerve-wracking, and I do worry that she'll get herself into a fight she can't win. But we just kind of got to keep an eye on her, make sure she sticks with us. And as long as she doesn't run off to uh, get herself into a situation she can't get out of, we should be okay until we're allowed to turn mate permadeath off. So, um, the carcass seems to be somewhere in here. I don't know if we... You know, we're not, I'm not necessarily going to have him hunt right now because the trail leads into the woods and that's generally a little bit of a more chaotic situation. Oh, there's a grizzly bear uh, trail as well and coyotes. I don't think the bear trail seems like it's left. Okay, 25 minutes ago. Yeah, Raven scared him off. Nice job, Raven. There is a fox here, but we'll go ahead and eat too. And just kind of... What am I hearing? What am I hearing? Get out of here, Fox. I'm a little scared the bear is back or something like that. Something crazy. Oh, the bear is back. Okay, let's, uh, let's, um, let's, let's not, uh, let's be kind of cautious. We just wanted a bite to eat. Let's head over to this stand of trees, maybe, and we'll, uh, we'll hunker down there for a little while. Look how dark it's getting, too. I wonder if it's actually going to thunderstorm. It might. We haven't seen too many of those in this game, but, uh, they do happen, and that might be what's going on right now. So let's sleep. We'll let the bear finish off the little bit that remains of that carcass. We just wanted to keep our own uh, hunger up so that we can make sure we heal. Because uh, I do believe healing is faster when you're full, if I'm not mistaken. So that's a nice tip. If you are uh, low on health, you want to make sure you're full on food so that you can heal more quickly. And uh, get back to full more quickly. But let's see if we can maybe do some hunting. It's actually a fairly well-lit night. Oh, there's male dispersal wolves around. So if we happen to find an elk herd out here, there might be one that's uh, wandered out of the woods and into the open here. It's not impossible. If we do happen to find one, we might do a little bit of a hunt here. I think that might this might be kind of their tactic for hanging out through the winter here. Uh, just to kind of hunt and then guard the carcass. So there's some coyotes. We don't need to mess with them, though. 
Um, they're not doing us any harm. That moose was still around, though, but Aiden's not gonna mess with him. He knows a little bit better than to uh, fool around with a bull moose. <laughs> that, that's not a fight they're gonna win in any circumstance. You need a pack for that. But uh, he might try and take on a moose calf with Raven at some point. That's something a lot of you guys have been curious about. They might even try for a cow moose, but I kind of don't think they're going to succeed. And we might be able to try for a bull elk. And I don't think we're going to find anything, so we're going to go ahead and grab the hairs. They have actually turned white because it's starting to snow more, so that coat will help them blend in. And we'll go ahead and eat this one, though. It didn't, doesn't work so well when the snow melts for a little bit in a warm spell. But we'll go ahead, we'll find some place to settle down, maybe right at the tree line here, and um, wait for Dawn to come to see if we can find any other elk herds. I don't really want to hunt in the woods, I kind of just want to chill out and um, then hunt when the prey comes into the open. That's always a little bit more, um, a little bit more helpful than, uh, than, than, than having to hunt in the midst of a, of a thick forest. <laughs> So we'll let them get a nice little nap in here and we'll pretty much wait for Dawn to come because it's going to be too dark to hunt leading up to that, I think. Dawn is a better time and it's a little bit easier to see what's going on than we, that is of course important, that's why we don't want to hunt in the woods because we can't see anything. But we'll sleep again and we should be at dawn pretty soon here. Yeah, it looks like this is just about dawn. All right, let's get up. It is still quite dark, but if we had the chance to find a herd, then that'll help as well. So there is still a carcass around. There's quite a few scent trails up there. Are they coming? They're coming from... I think they are at the top of the hills. I wasn't sure if they're at the top or if they're beyond the other side of the cliffs, but I think they are... Um, they're coming from... Yeah, they're right up here. Okay, so there's the... Oh, there's another wolf. Who is this? Who's this? Who are you? Ah, you're still around. You didn't learn your lesson? Why? You get out of here. This is our turf now. Stay away. I think Aiden is going to be pretty relentless with this wolf. I mean, if she didn't learn her lesson after we took out her sister, she's going to continue to be a persistent aggravation to them. So... Yeah, she's uh, she's much more determined than she should be, and Aiden's gonna just make sure he runs her off. I think she she's had enough now. We'll we'll leave her be finally. But goodness, that is probably the most determined wolf that I have seen in a long time. And it looks like a lot of these trails too. This is this is the chase that just happened. So the white ones are us. The white is Raven. Well, I don't think, I think our trail has faded more quickly. Possibly? No. I thought we, do we leave a scent trail? I'm not actually too sure. Maybe we don't. Raven does though. And Mule Deer. Hmm. If you can't find elk, Mule Deer would be a nice second. And I think the elk are not out in the open. So the female dispersal wolves, that was probably uh, the one that we just chased off. She's still lingering around here. But, uh, hopefully she will, uh, hopefully she will move elsewhere because, yeah, we're not- Oh, there's elk down there. Oh, I didn't even- I almost didn't even see them. They're really close to the tree line. But I think Aiden is feeling a little bit ambitious. I mean, he and Raven are pretty much both at full health. So maybe they'll run in and, uh, try- try and do another hunt. Man, these guys better run if they know what's good for them. These- these two are- are no, um, no weak hunters, that's for sure. They're still standing their ground, though. Look at this. Look at these stubborn elk. <laughs> what What is the matter with you guys? I mean, they're, they're smart, maybe, because uh, they um, they know that once they run, we're gonna we're gonna be able to take them down real easy. But I think Aiden would be bold enough to possibly just charge right in and give one of them a nice bite. <laughs> He's get, probably gonna get kicked off when this mother sees, and the other elk just stood there going, "What in the heck are you doing? Are you Are you crazy?" And yeah, Aiden is a uh, Aiden's maybe not maybe not crazy, but he's definitely um, definitely not uh, not a shy wolf. That is for sure. So we do have the mother chasing us. I'm gonna try and hang in there as long as I can, and then we'll have to see if we can get to this elk right here. We are gonna probably get kicked off. Yep. But Raven's running now as well. We'll try and bite again. This one, uh, the elk didn't actually get to us that time. She had to kind of go around. So these two are doing some serious damage, that's for sure. We got a neck bite. Oh yeah, it was worth it. It was worth taking a little damage there because we got, we were able to deal quite a lot extra. And come on, come on, come on. 
All right. Oh, goodness. Okay, what? Oh, here we go. No, no, no. Turn around. Go. Get in there, Aiden. Aiden, get in there. Oh, she's having a hard time getting to us, too. Oh, ow. What the? Well, that ain't supposed to happen. Um. So, I think I found a glitch. <laughs> well... We're going to go ahead and end off this episode here for today. I'm not going to count that against Aiden because that wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah. <laughs> so if you've ever wanted a little insight to what can happen as a beta tester, this is, this is what we deal with a lot of the time. <laughs> it's these random things that make you go, what in the world? Uh, we did get most of them out, but there's going to be some that uh, still appear. So I think Aiden probably just got whacked pretty hard. And uh, might not be might not be feeling the the greatest. We'll we'll give him another chance for sure. He's not going to get penalized for that because that wasn't supposed to happen that way. <laughs> I'm going to report that, and uh, I'll, I'll be back in just a moment here. Okay, so these guys are back. It is night. Well, it's it's technically dawn. Uh, we basically I just loaded the auto save. <laughs> I'm not gonna count that against Aiden. I'm just gonna say he probably got uh, got kicked a little hard, maybe passed out, uh, but he's okay. He'll he'll be all right. That wasn't supposed to happen, so this is a perfect time to cover what to do if something like that happens to you. I know I talked about this in an earlier episode, but if you missed out on it, all you have to do is hit the F11 key. It'll come up with something like this. You can select feedback or bugs. You can uh, select the priority um, and just write up a summary and uh, explain what happened. This will send a lot of important info. You can see where it says basic system information. A screenshot will be sent with your report. It'll send them stuff like the game logs that they need to be able to troubleshoot the problem like that. So again, the game is in early access. We had an extended beta period where we did catch a lot of crazy bugs, but uh, unfortunately with a game this size, it's darn near impossible to catch everything. And so if you do run across something that doesn't make sense, just make sure you send it in and the team will fix it as quickly as they're able to. So yeah, uh, that's what to do if something crazy happens or like that icon that's stuck in the upper right corner. Yeah, that's another one of those little hiccups that comes with it being uh, in early access. And honestly, most games have bugs. You just may not always run into them. If you look hard enough, almost every game will have bugs. So it's kind of just comes with the territory. If you see something reported, that's pretty much all there is to uh, know about it. And speaking of beta testing, I might uh, might get to um, post a couple of videos about some of the wonky things that happened during that. We'll see. Um, uh, hopefully that may be coming in the future. So if you if you guys do want to see that, then make sure to uh, keep an eye on the channel because I might be posting some of those at some point. But we are going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today. A little bit of a crazy ending. I think uh, Aiden just woke up from getting getting knocked out. He'll be okay. He's just got to walk it off. Uh, Raven's probably pretty worried about him, though, and uh, he might, uh, might think twice about hunting elk next time. He may be a little bit, a uh, little bit more hesitant than he was, but we'll go ahead and end off this episode here for today, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time, but until then, this is Jay, over and out.